Hey guys and gals. Hey, Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, Sunday afternoon, we're back at the corporate offices. Hot, hot, sunny, sunny end of August day in North Texas. But hey, I'm not uh, going to talk politics or anything, so I don't know what side of the fence you're on, but you know, that's your choice and I welcome all views. I will tell you, I'm, uh, I lean probably a little bit towards the conservative side on my end here in Texas. And you can see we're flying our Trump 2020 Keep American Great flag. And uh, you know, for all your Trump haters out there, that's your choice and your prerogative. Uh, I'm not necessarily a Trump supporter as much as I am a uh, conservative. And uh, I'm more fearful of the other side than I am uh, actually Trump. So uh, there, I've said my two cents and that's all the politics I'm gonna talk about, but I totally respect your choices. And uh, my only recommendation is vote. That's all that matters. Make sure you get out and vote. Make sure you tell your friends, your family, because let me tell you, elections have consequences and uh, elections can change the future for not only us, but our children. And it's very important that you do your American God-given right and vote. All right, enough of that. Hey, I'm gonna post a video today on uh, the barn, the pole barn that we have at Telephone. I got some problems there, need some advice. So uh, check out the video, let me know your thoughts. Uh, what would you do to fix the pole barn? I mean, God, I wish I was sitting on a pile of money. I'd bulldoze it down and build a nice new metal barnuminium. I don't think that's an option anywhere in the near future. So I've got to figure out a uh, solution on how to fix a uh, little structural issue I have going at the uh, barn and telephone. So, uh, all right guys, check out that deal. Show you a couple of things today. So I'm dog sitting. This is my oldest daughter's dog, Sadie. Hey Sadie. <whistles> got her. Over here you can see the corporate dog, uh, Coco. She is uh, the patriarch of the uh, family. And uh, Kimber, our youngest GSP, I don't know where she is, but anyway, hey guys, check out the barn video and let me know what you think. Hey guys, Scott with Heritage Farms, Texas. Well, I'm gonna show you something. This is an old pole barn. It's in pretty good shape. You know, we've had a couple of major storms come through. It blew out this side of the barn and what we decided to do was to leave this open just so we could have access to implements and uh, make it easy to come in here and connect, keep your stuff out of the sun and the rain. But I want you to watch this. I'm gonna put my hand on here. That is no bueno. No good. That is not good. That is the corner of my barn. And it is completely rotted off at the ground. More importantly, there's no weight even on it. Lovely, just absolutely lovely. So, you know, the problem with these old pole barns is there's too many poles. If you look on this, on the outside wall, they put them on uh, basically 10 foot centers. On the inside wall, they put them on 12 foot centers. Well, the problem is you have a lot of unutilized space in here because of all the poles. It's not like you can pull the tractor over to the side. You basically have this middle run and that is it. Don't know what to do with the old pole barn. So uh, you can see we came in here, we had some boards that were rotted out and things like that. So what we did was we came in and we put a new board on top of the old rotted board. And we did that at multiple levels all the way. This was about four or five years ago and we kind of shored things up. You can see up at the very top, some of the uh, the boards on the very ends were completely rotted off. So we came on there and we took some little three foot uh, two by sixes and scabbed on to the other rafters where we had good wood, put a new header beam across, secured it. And you know, that did okay and it's still okay. But man, that corner over there is gone. So I got to figure out what to do on that show you some other problems we got down here with an old pole barn. So look right there, completely rotted out. You can see where we came in right under it and we put a new board uh, right underneath the one that was rotted out, secured it. We did the same thing here, here, 
and here look at that top one this whole corner of the barn is completely rotted out i mean completely rotted out so man i got problems 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 uh, you know if money was no object i'd bulldoze this thing down and just come in here and put a uh barnuminium on this spot and uh you know have me a uh i don't know 60 by 100 barnuminium yeah that'd probably do it yeah i wish anyway don't know what to do but i gotta do some uh, repairs the old barn has got issues look up here i don't know if you can see this that's actually daylight through that piece of sheet metal ugh 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 issues 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 you can see up here anywhere you see the black that's rotted wood problems 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 but you know this thing's been standing i don't know 50 years so uh that's the question what do you do so my short-term question to you guys is how should i fix this should I come right next to it, drill a hole, set a new post, and bolt this into the new post? I don't know. I'm open for suggestions, guys. So uh, that's kind of what I'm wondering is if I shouldn't come in here, dig a hole right next to this one. I could set a new post, you know, maybe, I don't know, four or five foot tall, and then come in here and put lag bolts across it to help bridge the, the weight from this one to this one. Let me know, guys. I don't know what to do to the old barn, man. I mean, it's very functional at the moment, but structurally, it's got some issues. You know, I've been kicking the can down the road for several years, just wondering what to do, what to do. Let me know your thoughts. Any suggestions? Hey, thanks, guys. Leave me a comment. Hit the thumbs up. Tell me what you think. Appreciate it.